is polio, the cruel centuries-old crippler of children. Enlarged 77,000 times, these are actual polio viruses. Now to the University of Michigan campus in Ann Arbor come hundreds of scientists hoping to hear the words that will signal the end of polio's long and ruthless reign of terror. Leading the medical men is Dr. Jonas Salk, whose polio vaccine has been tested and carefully evaluated. Copies of the official findings are wheeled in as Dr. Salk talks with his family on what is to be his day of magnificent achievement. Reporters press forward to get the results the whole world is waiting for, rushing to their typewriters to spread the momentous news. Inside the meeting hall, Dr. Salk and Dr. Thomas Francis, director of the year-long study of the vaccine, mark time, awaiting the arrival of the report. The room is electric with expectancy. Then the historic announcement, the vaccine works. It is safe, effective, and potent. The tests prove it up to 90% effective in preventing paralytic polio. And someday, says Dr. Salk, the vaccine may completely eradicate the menace of polio. Working at Pittsburgh University's Virus Research Laboratory, the 40-year-old Dr. Salk labored three years, often 16 hours a day, six days a week, to painstakingly perfect the vaccine before its mass testing. The serum contains polio virus, which, although killed, still has power to stimulate the body into producing millions of protective antibodies in the bloodstream, building a wall between children and paralytic polio. Early production of the virus vaccine was difficult, limiting last year's experiment. Even so, it was the largest such medical test ever attempted. 440,000 youngsters in 44 states were inoculated with the salt vaccine. 210,000 received dummy shots, and more than a million other children were observed in comparison. Not a single child who completed the salt vaccinations died of paralytic polio. Already in full-scale manufacture, laboratories have turned out enough of the precious serum for 30 million and possibly even more children this year. Nine million students are being vaccinated with serum made available by the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis, which financed Dr. Salk's research. Though some of the youngsters are apprehensive, they learn, when their turn comes, that the vaccination hardly hurts at all. Mankind, through the genius of Jonas Salk, receives a great gift, victory over polio.